Okay, now, what's going on, everyone? So far, I've been actually going back to back videos so far. And this is mostly for a secondary video that I'm posting the same day. I haven't been doing a lot of rank recently. So, I've been mostly was just doing some dailies at this point when I was trying out this deck for my Blue Eyes deck, which is brand new Blue Eyes, which I'll pop up right in turn. Okay, here's where I finished my blind, my branded blue eyes deck, which is momentarily almost copy of Rhyme Styles a little bit, but I updated some stuff here and there for my own style, which is the case mostly of just having br brilliant fusion, which I mean alternate fusion, mostly for when I can deal with some stuff or for the fact I'm dealing with Exodia of all things or something I want to get rid of if I have something on fields. Mostly everything else is mostly the same. I run. Mostly everything else is mostly the same, with a little bit of a fusion destiny ball. So my extra choices are more, a little, little bit more different, a little bit. And since I'm using Tyrant, I'm utilizing two Mirror Jades. Pretty much, I have four ways to go into this. Personally, if you're going first, you'll pretty much want to utilize Lubinin. I will say an Albion if you actually have the cards needed for discard to actually fusion summon out. That's near Denier, personally. If you happen to have it in my hand, and if you can special summon, but personally, if that's the case, you might as well go into searing most of the time. I run two blue eyes, one Zora eyes, one blue eye spirit, one Numeron, mostly the same package of Himbo, but I'm mostly using a more budget friendly deck. Most people should have at least Destiny or Phoenix. Thanks for this point. Everything else, everyone should have probably SR released. With the sense being no mind dragon, which you probably should have at this point if you're playing, if you're utilizing blue eyes. One hope bringer, because honestly, it's best level eight going to. With a heartache sky dragon overload, or once per turn, but when activates a card that targets any field or grave or banished. Detach my drill, negate action. If you do, destroy that card. Like, I do have some cards actually I can utilize to go into Seagros. But I pretty much am, don't have a lot of those cards he has. And most people are telling me not to, so I'm mostly utilizing my couple of my own choices texts. And next up, one zombie, zombie vampire. You can also, if you're using a monster at point side of field, you can treat it as level 8. <coughs> Which personally you can't do, I think. But. With only special one gray, but I'm only using it to actually mill my own deck out. And the special one is just bonus, mostly so I can get the effects of the white stone ancients propping. But also for regular blue eyes, where pretty much that card is actually probably the best level 8 you can go into. To activate all your stones you want. <laughs> be it regular blue, be it regular white stone legend. White stones of the regular one. Or that, so that card is always good. I would recommend at least one copy. I would have got rid of it if some person didn't convince me to. And I actually thought about it afterwards, and they were right. This is also a Ren style deck though, but my old playstyle a little bit, adjustments. And also more budget friendly. Okay, my first opponent was pretty much actually utilizing, and, and surprisingly enough, ancient gear deck with an infant track engine essentially going towards it. Which I guess is alright though, but I do not know, personally. Personally, I would run more ass in this thing and not utilize greater. It's greater's good. But it's also not that good, at least. It's mostly just a brick, unless unless you're focused around the speeding up blue eyes fusion, of all things, now I realize. So I said I go Holton because of it, personally. But it makes sense for this kind of deck. With Ancient Gears Evolved. Most of the stuff is regular stuff, some stuff I see. But the only stuff I. And I'm only seeing about two cards of where I would craft. Being. Nightmare Unicorn. That's the only card I actually need to make. Okay, let's go straight into match. 
And mind you, this still was short as heck because of what I drew. Also, I'm sorry to show them most of my cards in this in the last video. I pretty much added the Luber first to actually see if I can get Ash out of there. So then I can actually use my Bright Diffusion. I shuffle back most of my cards I don't need. Discard Ancients mostly so I can have something to utilize. Go into Mirror Jade to actually get a chance to a game. If in and I decided to bring out Blue Eyes, but when once I think about it, I should just summon out regular Blue Eyes and actually send regular Blue Eyes to my grave to actually utilize Jets. Mind you, I only realized afterwards what I should have done, but I should have just gone to Jade even if I didn't summon out. Even if I didn't summon out Jet without blue eyes, at least I should have just done it. Just just for actually negate destruction effects. Since one Regeki and his whole game's over. I said Mirror J first to get Lumen and Maxis for some reason which I am still questioning right now. To mostly get that and add a brand into my deck to back deck then. I said I get one of my branded since I don't need it. My opponent just gave up afterwards, but personally, this was looking like game essentially in a way. Also, what I should have added in my hand was should have been something else different. But overall, that's the game. It wasn't going to be anything bright or anything. Now, this is a duel why I found interesting. It's technically just utilizing more, less, and less incomplete version of Cyber Dragon Search Deck. With some choices I am debating on. Mostly being the Hex Seals, which could make sense. Because you could just go into any, anything you need. You can try to send fusion monsters on the field, including the space up, special on one course corresponding a light monster. So this card's like like King of the Swamp essentially for fusing instead and actually get trees one of the other tools. Makes sense. The only thing is I'm thinking this is more of a new player that just came in. Because I would have run two ashes over one ZV. Secondly, everything else is standard, I think, but the only stuff I'm surprised about is not running one more Overload Fusion and in place of Evolution Burst, but it makes sense. The only stuff that caught me off guard was Cyber Rev, Rev System, but it also makes sense because it distracts my card effects. Might as well. The only tag options I see from here, only two I agree with, technically a third at least, Albuquerque, because this is OTK deck if you break. It's good. Mirror Force, I figured it's okay. But Torrent! Torrent is where I would I actually would have agreed with. Because since it destroys all monsters on the field, since you're going for OTK, it makes sense. Magic Cylinder, makes sense. Uh, everything so far I've seen so far, it makes sense a little bit here and there. Also, I just realized I am so late. I actually forgot to log in something already. Wow. I just go back so I get the claim system. Oh well. Oh, back to video. Uh, Empire makes sense. Finally, Cybernetic Overflow. That's the card where I actually say that's actually a good card. Mostly for OTK. You can actually use it since you can utilize it for everything you can potentially need. Being early destruction cards are also another way out, which I like to which I like to agree with. Which I like to agree with a lot of people. Would just be Which being Zodia mostly or combi pieces decks. So you can run or Simon or Flow so you can manage stuff in your hand. But also I also tested out an idea around this art. With branded and it doesn't work. It doesn't work as well as I think it does, because matching cards to go back into fusion summon beyond the grave using overflow was a nasty idea. I agree. I would have loved testing. Rampage makes sense. Twin makes sense. 
Fortress, but also you don't stuff I don't see here is a kaiju remover. It's just an R for the machine one for light. Cyber end. Pretty right though, but personally, you don't need this thing nowadays for this arrow. Two mega fleets. I'll be honest, I actually messed around with the idea of having two mega fleets at one point, but I decided to destruct. Mostly for my deck oriented, and I'm also running a Destiny engine, technically, alongside some prime plants. But also, I'm surprised they didn't even put in Cybernetic Fusion support, at least, as a backup way to actually have Powerbond not be a brick. Everything else I make, I'm agreeing with so far, the only stuff I'm surprised about is one infinity, only one missing one infinity specifically. Not seeing a slime is great, but I also make sense if this is a new player deck, based on lack of cards outside the structure de outside the structure deck. One seeker makes sense. I would just a whole lot more stuff differently. Okay, now let's get to the video. Let's get back to the video to replay. Also, I need to unplug my laptop. I am working on getting a new PC. Also, thinking about uh, going towards Carpet Banker Zero on Steam. But I might hold off on it since I don't have the rest of the stuff I need to stream it. Grab Scars Evolved. Lure. I figured out they don't have it, so I said I go blue eye. Go into this, get my, get these evolved, go into this. Personally, I would have done it though, but I wanted my blue eyes in hand. Since I had that trap to utilize, go to Omni Great Mode for protection, which I'll be honest, this whole duel, I was baffled what I just saw. I have Lush Burst. I said I sent one of them to grave. Do that. Personally, what I should have just sent was my, uh, anything else. I get one of my blue eyes to heart to my grave. Go into that, go into for My opponent still doesn't realize what Jet does. I'm still thinking new. Personally, I would still go into either way for just getting out Destiny Arrow Phoenix Sorcerer. Ultimate Creature essentially was just a bad card soul duel, I felt like. Mega Fleet makes sense, but I shy destroyed both of them. They were just going to summon Blue Eyes, and I still have one more copy of still in my deck to go into to destroy. The Cyber Revive system was the one thing I was surprised about there, and. But this is where I was just telling him. You're dead either way. I was just doing that for flex. Get one white stone at entrance. Add blue eyes back to deck. That to hand. Special intuitive. Go into that. Add that. I actually get my jet on. And this is where the game entirely happens. And they just screw on me. But this is also part where I actually got my second part of my dailies done, which I was glad for. I will see your surrender before I did damage. Overall, these are two videos I signed early are okay-ish for back and forth a little bit. The second duel, I'm just crushing everything. Well, I'm just showing something I'm surprised to see in gold a little bit here and there, but we all know how gold is. Overall, that's the video. Thank you for watching.